Oh, narrow. <laughs> You! Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, here we are at Waitakohi Kohi Mountain Bike Park. We're gonna go shred some trails today, so come join us along for the action. Starts off with a nice little pedal up, gentle climb to the summit. We'll see you up the top. All right, this is M43 at Waitakahikahi Mountain Bike Park. And it's has in front. Nice early morning ride. Cool. Lots of punga fronds on the ground. Cool little techie switchback turns. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Pretty narrow. Through the trees over the roots. Yeehaw. Probably go high there. A bit of pace. So why to go here, go here? Whoa! Just clipped a fern on the bars. Um, yeah, this mountain bike park's located in Katikat, just out of Tauranga. Nice and easy to get to. Probably only 20, 25 minute drive for us. So sweet as. And as you guys know, Mountain uh, Oropi Mountain Bike Park and Summerhill having some closures on the, some of the trails because they're doing forestry. So we thought we'd come check this one out. First run of the day, it's going bloody good. Look at all narrow. <laughs> So I think this is one of the newer trails here. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. So it's the first time for us anyway. It's got some cool little features in it. Rocks and roots and Oh, vines to catch your bars. You gotta watch those ones. Oh, has his caught a stick. <laughs> Turned his bike into an instant tractor. Oh, that's very tight for the 800s. I really enjoyed this trail. There's a small little peddly section through here, so we just followed our nose and up here on the left. Okay, we found this. Maybe this is the great four we're looking for. Ooh. Whoa. After that short but sweet section, it spits you out onto M32, which is a grade 3 flow trail, and here's the highlights of that. Whoa. Double wheel drift there on the loose pine needles. Should we go down to the river? Have a look. It looks slippery anyway. Woo. Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a nice little scenic ride. I've never been one to be too worried about a bit of mud, eh? Yeah. Better on my toes. Or... Oh yeah. Sweet. This is the sort of cool you get to see with mountain biking. We took a quick break and a couple of photos and then we pedaled back up to one of the more feature rich grade 4 trails here called Marco. You want to go hit this step up? So, whoa! Just hit that step down and almost lost it. 
After seeing a few signs, we quickly established that they're going for a bit of a sea life theme here for the names of the trails. There's still a few that are unnamed, however this one Marco was the crowd pleaser for the day, just based on how much stoke it gave you. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, don't know what that was. Roughly in about the middle of the trail, there's one road crossing on this, and we're just about to come up to it. Kaz is hitting it with a bit more attitude today. Oh, she's the flat. I wanted to film one of the main features on this trail, which is this cool step up just here. Whoa! So we stopped and had a few goes at it. Here comes Haz getting it done, and after that, I led the way down the last part of the trail. You. Haz was doing a great job of keeping up with me there until he made a mistake and then I started to disappear out of sight. Fun trail this. It's grade four, it's the longest trail here in the forest. It's got some cool little fast sections, some tight corners, rooty bits, jumps, tables and step ups. So it's got a nice mixture of things. And that is the end. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Sweet. Now we're discovering new lines because we're in search of a trail we've never ridden before. It says it's right here on the map somewhere, however we had to navigate our way through scrub, bush, Hang ferns right. and all yeah. sorts. Even though it was very overgrown, this one's one of my favourites because it turned out to be a... Grassy Loma! I can assure you this one's steep, even though GoPro never does these sort of things justice. It gives you a rough idea but you basically have to be riding off a cliff for it to look steep on GoPro. Yeah, boy. Oh! Ha ha! Nah, it's definitely not. <laughs> okay. Now we're oh, to the left. Oh, yeah, bit over. Get real tight yeah, that's right. It's rather tight. is just doing a bit of trail maintenance so we can actually get through there. Next time I come riding here, I might have to pack a machete with me and come for a little walk down here to clear things out a bit, because this trail is sick. You could get lost through here if you didn't know where you're going. <laughs> oh, funny. And out. <laughs> now that was a loma, all right? Here we go on to M31, Terakihi. Here's in front at Waitakoki, Kogi Mountain Bike Park. Whoa, this one's loose. 
cool. Bit of a feature of stump in the middle of the trail. Woo. Exposure on the left there. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Nice and fast and flowy. If you just into grade two and three flow trails, they do accommodate you here at this mountain bike park with at least two grade threes and three grade twos. Woo. Oh, you can see that coming up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Woo. Oh. <laughs> nice, that's fast that one. Alright, into the interesting looking grade two. Kenna. Here we go. Don't know how that's a grade two, but we'll just carry on. Oh she's pretty tight for a grade two, eh? Holy good fast. Fun track though. Could do with a bit of trim here and there. What? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, continues on. Yeah, continues on to power. So, bottom section, I guess. You can die. Not quite sure why they call this a grade two, but it's actually more like a grade three, if you ask me. Just with its steepness and narrowness. That's alright, it's good fun nonetheless. Whoa, full drift that. Yeah, some fast corners. Whoa, almost lost it. Has is the way. Whoa, oh. oh. and catch him back up oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god <laughs> that's not a great two oh oh my had some moments on that <laughs> on the flat corner <laughs> yeah hope you guys enjoyed that if you did Give it a thumbs up and check out all my other videos. Cheers.